What's going on YouTube viewers? It's Sick With Venom. Today I'm doing a video of my Marvel Select collection. Yeah man, um, I've been doing this for a while man. I've been doing this for about almost three years. I would say about three years. Collecting these guys man. And um, yeah, it's been fun doing it man. I'm trying to really, really get my collection up. So, you know, little by little guys man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get there man. Um, this is my um, most recent one I just picked up. I just picked this one up, um, Nightcrawler. Um, my wife ordered it for me online. Yeah, man, uh, I've been wanting this one for a while, man. For, for a little while, actually. I was trying to find it in FYE because they sell uh, Marvel Select figures over there. But um, they, have, they haven't brought this one in yet, man. So this one I, uh, my wife ordered online. So now I got it and I'm happy. I've been wanting this for a while, Nightcrawler. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. The 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 paint application, the detail, the whole sculpting of it really looks fresh. I like it. I definitely like the base it came with. You, know, you can do some things with the base, man. If you're really creative with it. You can do some things with the base, make it look fresh, man. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do something else with it. Just just for now, I had everything differently. I had everything set up, set up in a, a different way, man. I just I changed things around because, you know. I like to change things around, make it look look more interesting. So I'm definitely gonna keep picking up some uh picking up Marvel Select action figures. Definitely gonna get into the whole Marvel Legend thing too. I got a couple of Marvel Legends that I got and um I'm trying to I'm trying to make my collection grow, man. Really trying to get up there. So hopefully you guys uh, always watch my videos and enjoy them. And um this is a uh, juggernaut the variants without the helmet it's pretty cool too I had this one for a while this one I bought from um magnum uh comic store in uh, in uh in the Bronx real cool comic store you know they got a lot of stuff in there it's in the Bronx really 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 cool place they got a lot of a lot of you know selections in there a lot of things you can pick up books and everything action figures uh pretty much anything and everything you, you would think of they got in there it's pretty good i like that i like that store it's been a while since i've been up there because i'm not in the city right now i'm uh I'm, I'm upstate right now so i'm living at so i'm four hours away from the from the city but um i'm gonna go back up there to you know to take a trip for at least two days and you know Go to my my favorite comic book stores and stuff. And get some stuff. Pick things up. I want to do some videos over there. So you'll be seeing video. Um, Wolverine. Yeah, uh, I like this one too. Paint application details is, is pretty cool. So I like it. I'm a big Marvel Select fan, and um, I really enjoy you know buying the action figures. Only, my only thing is I just wish they had uh, better articulation so that would be easy to pose these guys, you know, and putting nice fight battles. But, you know, I'm creative, so I always, I always try to make it happen. I always try to work with it, so I don't, I don't let it really be an obstacle. Other than that, I mean, I, I love their action figures. They're, they're known for their paint application and their uh, sculpting, so I enjoy that. I love art, so this is something I will always appreciate. I got this guy from um, Forbidden Planet downtown in Manhattan. That's one of my favorite stores too. Between Forbidden Planet and um, Magnum, those are two of my favorite uh, comic stores, man. That's why I usually go to pick up my stuff. You know, lately I've been ordering online. Like I said, I'm, I'm not in the city no more, so I've been ordering things online. Cause they don't where I'm at, they don't have any comic stores, man. It sucks. But it's all right though. I just pay a visit to my my own uh, comic stores. Pick up some stuff. I'm gonna be doing vi uh, some videos in there, so I'll be definitely putting that on YouTube too. Saber Tooth was another one I picked up from from Better Planet. Paint application is crazy, man. The detail. Like the thing I love about Marvel Select is that they really narrow it down to a T. Whether it comes to the movie movie action figures or cartoon action figures they really narrow it down so I enjoy every bit of it man. I love it I love it because the art the art 
the the the, the detailing and everything. And it's like I enjoy it, man. I used to draw when I was a kid, so anything of art, stuff like this, I always love. I enjoy. Uh, I got my Deadpool back there. I got this one ordered online. My wife did it actually. I love my wife because my wife she always surprises surprises me and uh anytime she sees I I I tell her I like something I want to pick something up she goes right ahead and orders it for me. <laughs> so big up to my wife man she's very supportive with me with this. And then um the classic Grey Hulk. I'm sorry guys I really want you guys to see it and enjoy it. It's late too, guys, man. I, I fell asleep early, man. Me and my wife had a... And me and my wife and my kids, we had a, a, a nice barbecue grill in the back of the balcony for Father's Day. And for those out there with fathers, man, happy Father's Day. It's uh, 4.15 in the morning, <laughs> next day after Father's Day. But, hey, listen, regardless, man, for all them good fathers out there, happy Father's Day and... uh. Y'all there with your kids, man. Keep up the good work. I myself am a father of six, man. I love my kids. Pain the butts, but they love me, so that's what counts. And I love them back. I love my family. And I love my action figures. That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for you guys, man. For you guys and uh, for, for the joy of it. So It's a classic Ray Hulk, man. Love it. I mean, like I said, the articulation, the uh, mouse select is not really known. For their articulation, they're really known for their for their um, they're just their detail, the whole sculpting of their action figures. But that's great for me. I mean, articulation is always a plus, of course. But you know what? In this case, uh, it's all right. I, I enjoy it for what it is. They still, you can still, you know, make it look fresh. Make these guys look like something, you know. Put them in some nice, nice uh, fight battles and. You know, take some cool pictures. Let me um, go to the next side. Um, my newest one too that I just recently received in the mail also is um Venom. I just picked. I just got him. Um. Ordered too. My wife ordered it for me online. It's a sick figure. I, I love this um Marvel Select Venom. I like where they went with this one. I got the other um Venom from Marvel Select. Um, he's like a purplish, purplish color, blended in with like a like a darker purplish. I mean, it's it's fresh. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I just wish that they had made that Venom the way they made this one. But it's still crazy I mean the other venom I have is still crazy if you if you know about Marvel Select you know what it looks like and um you would also agree with me that it's it is fresh don't get me wrong I really really like it a lot I just wish that it was a little better articulated but again I just enjoy the sculpture and everything else like that so I appreciate the art of it so it's still it's still cool I still like it you know this one came with um interchangeable heads it came with a backpack and some extra arms the backpack has uh, like about six heads on it. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not really positive, but it's still it's still real, really, really cool, man. Really nicely put together. I don't use the backpack. I, li I like the originality of Venom, so I don't really use it. I just keep it original. But it's fresh, man. I really, really like it. Then you got uh, Black Cat. Another another nice looking um action figure. Really, really cool. Really accurate, man. Like very, very accurate. Looks just like her. She's pretty bad. I like I like the way she came out too. Her articulation, there is really no t articulation with her. She's just pretty much basic um arm arms movement. That's it. Like you could just move her arms up and down. Um you could turn her hands around. 
uh, head moves side to side. There's no up and down. She's really kind of hard to move her head up and down. She has the hair hanging behind her back, so you're not going to really get no real good uh, articul uh, articulation movement with her. But as far as like uh, in the position that she's in, she still is cool. You know, she's bad, man. You know what I mean? She still, she's still bad. You still could, uh, you know, put in a nice uh, display along with other your other action figures. You know. And it still look cool. It would still look fresh. Plus, she got some nice boobs too. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. I'm just playing. Don't 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 get upset. I'm just having fun right now. <laughs> and you got uh, the Amazing Spider-Man classic look. Also, a nice a nice pick. It's crazy because uh, when I first got into this whole collection thing, I only really wanted Spider-Man and, uh, and uh, the Incredible Hulk because those were like my two favorite heroes as a kid growing up. And I always, always just be like, "Yo, I want to have, I want a Spider-Man, I want a Hulk, man." You know what I mean? So I could just put it up, you know, on display, whatever. And from there on, <clears throat> I bought these two, and then from there on, I kept on picking up action figures. Every so often, I go up there and pick up a new one, pick up a new one, and by the time you know it, I ended up with a with a collection. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And then um, I got the lizard, the movie lizard. I had to pick this one up because uh, it's I just like it, man. It's so movie accurate. You know, that's what I like about these. Uh, most like are, are known for making movie action figures, and they really always narrow it down to T. Articulation might not be the best, but <clears throat> as far as making these guys, they really know what they're doing, and they're doing a great job. So uh, I support I support Marvel Select a lot. I really, really like buying the action figures. Just look at that man. It's just like so movie accurate. Paint application is crazy. It's detail. I mean, the height-wise, just really accurate. And you could put him with either Marvel Legends Spider-Man. You know, any Spider-Man you really put him with him, put with him, it, it's it's gonna work because you know he's he's, he's a big guy naturally. So it it'll always look fresh, man. If you're creative, you can make it happen. Yeah, that one also got in the mail. Just a kid, I forgot to mention it. Like I said, I've been ordering, we've been ordering a lot of stuff from the mail lately because I haven't been had a chance to go to my, you know, my favorite stores, man, Forbidden Planet and um, Magnum. Those are the best stores in in, uh, in New York as far as, you know, collection goes, you know, picking up figures, those are the stores to go to. And um, then I got the Rhino. I picked him up in FYE. They had him over there. Only had two left, so I've been. I always wanted to pick up Rhino, <clears throat> but I never, you know, got around to it. You know, you know, financially things is kind of tight, you know. And uh, but you know what? God is always good, so He always makes it possible for me to to make it. You know, alone my family. So I always thank God always for being there for me and my family. So thank you too. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate everything. And um. Yeah, man, I just, this is a nice, a nice looking figure too, man. Really, really, really nice detail. Really, really, really nice detail. I'm glad I picked him up. And the thing about him that um, you could stand him on one leg, like putting him in a running charging position, and he actually stands. It's, it's really cool, man. Really, really cool. Then I got the. Uh, black suited spider-man he's a Hasbro I picked him up in Brooklyn in uh, some store out there and I had to pick him up because it's like uh, it's really cool the articulation sucks don't get me wrong but other than that I mean the paint detail and uh, the whole sculpture of it is really cool I like it I always did like it so I was like, you know what, let me just, I saw them, I picked it up. I actually picked up two. These guys don't run cheap, man. They run for like $20, man. They're little. 
But when you're a hardcore collector, man, it's like price really doesn't matter at that point. As long as you got it, you're just gonna get it. So I got two of them. I gave one of them to my stepson, and um, this one I kept for myself. Really, really cool. I like I like the way the suit looks. I haven't really seen anybody with this one. It's definitely cool. I like it. Detail is cool. Got to like these are uh, jumping on rhino, trying to knock them on the floor. And then I got uh, my other Spider Man. This one um, I also picked up in the same store. Picked them up in the same store. This is also a Hasbro. I really, this is my favorite Spider Man between uh, my Marvel Select and this one is my favorite one. Uh, because uh, the paint detail is crazy too. The paint application is detail that it has. I really like it. Plus, like the skin is like a. Uh, how can I explain? It's like a uh, scaly, like if you uh, if you touch like the the blue part, you feel like the little scales. It's like really, really cool. I like the way they did the paint. It's like really clearly done. You know, it's not sloppy looking or nothing like that. And it's just really, really good job. I look. I don't look at these things as toys, man. I look at them as sculptures, man. Because at the end of the day, this is what it is. They sculpt these things, man. They put it together, and they make it look. So realistic, man. So, yeah, I did a video with this guy. I did a video with him and the black suit of Spider Man. I did like the front cover, uh, from one of the movies, man. But uh, that it was, uh, it was, um, Spider Man versus Venom. It was that movie. I think that was, uh, three, if I'm not mistaken. Movie three. Man, uh, I did the the display from the front of the the box, the case. I did a video of that one. Made it look like they were, that like he was looking in the reflection in the glass of himself, in the black suit Spider Man costume. Yeah, I did that so. I really like this one. Really, really nicely looking. Nicely put together. Yeah, I got him uh, looking like he's uh, fighting with uh, Cartnage. Hold on, guys. Let me get the light right. That is uh, Cartnage Hasbro. I really like this Cartnage a lot, man. I haven't seen any other Cartnages after I picked this one up. I, um... I actually saw this one in Toys R Us in the Bronx. The only one they had left. It was like waiting for me, man. And I and I was I happened to be there and uh picked it up. And articulation is crazy. Articulation is good. Real real nice looking carnage. I wanna get the Marvel Select Carnage. I just haven't been able to um, get it. They haven't had it for a while, man. Every time I check online, it's always out of stock, man. I'm trying to, I'm waiting for it to come out, though. But for now, this is the curtains I have. And I really think it's cool. I really think it's cool. Then the, um... One of my other recent pickups was uh this one. The Iron Man Patriot. I really didn't want this one too much. The only reason why I got it was for the upper torso for the uh the monger. I just wanted uh that's all I really wanted. I'm waiting for the other ones to come out too so I could get the arms and the and the the head that goes to it. Once I get all the pieces together, then I'll do a, a video on it. Show you guys. The Iron Monger. Iron Page is cool, I like it. Not exactly my favorite, but I like it. It's cool, I like the paint application too and everything else. Um, me and my wife, my, uh, me and my son was reading the back of the box and um, it said something about it being um, 
Norman Osborn. So I don't even I don't even think this is supposed to be uh Tony Starks. This is supposed to be uh uh Norman Osborn from the Goblin. Because that's what I read in the box, so that's what I'm going by. So we'll so we'll get into that as as the time goes by when they come out with the movie. I'm waiting for it to come out on DVD because I'll be picking up my uh, my my favorite movies too. Like I'm a, I'm a hardcore movie collector too, man. So yeah. Then I have uh, the Goblin. This is a nice looking Goblin, man. It came with the glider. And um, interchangeable hand, I believe. You could change his hand to another another uh, pumpkin. If I'm not, I'm not too sure. You know what it is, guys. Um, I got all my boxes and all that stuff from from my figures put away, so kind of forget what's what. <laughs> you know, when you have a few, a lot of them. When you got at least more than twenty, you start losing track of which ones is which and what does what. Especially if you know you have them displayed. You don't know, always mess with them all the time. Kind of forget. But this was a nice one too. I like this one a lot. This glider right here is fresh. I, I like the glider. I got this one um and I took the the, the smoke that I had behind it because it, it comes with a uh, smoke attached in the back of it. And I took it off and I utilized it with um the most like Iron Man, the movie Iron Man, and I made it look like smoke coming up from, uh, from the bottom of his feet. So, if you know about the Goblin, you're wondering about why, where's the smoke at? That's what I did with it. I took it off. It doesn't break enough, like cause it's like glued inside the back of it, so it's not like you're breaking it. It comes off easily if you do it, you know, gently. Take your time. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Gotta put this guy back. Ah, uh. guys, this guy is giving me a hard time right now. Yeah, man, but, um, this is definitely my collection, man, of what I have. Mm. Mm, she felt so. This is what I have, my collection. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while, guys, and I really, really always enjoy picking uh, new ones up and putting them on display. I'm trying to put enough light, guys, so you can see everything. It's kind of hard, man. I'm really trying to get every Marvel Select action figure they came out with. I'm trying to get all of them. I guess in due time. It's coming along. It's coming along. It's coming along. Yeah, this is my collection of uh, Marvel Select, and I got I got uh, I got the thing up there too. I 
I got the thing. I also got that from um, Forbidden Planet too. And that is the Iron Monger, which is not finished yet. I gotta get the other three, so I get the arms and the uh, the head to it. Oh yeah, and that's the Batman that came with the um, black cat. Came with with a nice, nice display, nice uh, wall base and everything. Came with some money, a little safe. Black cat came with some nice uh, accessories. Really, really glad I picked that. Pick that up, and then this one is the uh, Batman. I got. I picked that up in um, Target. I saw this one. I had to pick it up. It has that metallic silver look to it. The cape has that glossy look. I'm trying to get my DC comics up too, man. I'm trying to get a, uh, trying to get the Justice League crew. Like I said, little by little, man. And it goes the war to Black Cat. There goes the cash. I put it in a Venom Scorpion um, action figure's hand. Make it like Batman's trying to stop him from stealing. This was also a nice one. I love this one a lot. My sign is Scorpio, so of course I had to pick this up. This is like a definitely pick up. I had to get it. And there goes my Venom piggy bank. I picked this one up in Virginia in Toys R Us. That if it's cheap for $10, I had to pick it up. And there goes my Venom mask. I picked this up in one of them little stores in the mall. And I've never used it for any Halloween events, man. I, my kids and my wife are like, put it on, put it on. I'm like, nah, this is just for display, man. So, yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. This is, uh, this is what I've been working with. my Marvel Select collection and guys I'm gonna definitely get some more I'm definitely gonna get some more guys definitely gonna get some more when you guys listen man it's late I gotta go back to bed cause uh, school is out kids at home now so you know how that goes but listen guys man it's been it's been cool doing this video for you guys and hope you enjoy it when y'all see it you know I did get up out my sleep to do this video for y'all so hopefully uh, y'all check it out and enjoy it and please subscribe to my videos man you know support me cuz uh, I support anybody who's into this man cuz I enjoy it so and I hope you enjoy the videos I put out for y'all all right, so listen to Sick with Venom, and I got to get out of here. It's late already. <laughs> I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.